Hey, I'm Jack and this is Coconuts TV. We're here for Trump Kim Summit Food Edition. We're on Orchard Road, minutes away from where Kim Jong-un is staying, and we are at Royal Plaza on Scots, about to try some kind of food concoction that they've made in honor of the meeting of these two great, powerful men. We're gonna have a tiny burger made for men with tiny hands, like Donald Trump. Here we are inside. This restaurant isn't even open yet, but we have exclusive access to try this tiny little baby burger first and tell you how it is. There are people already lining up for this. Yeah, but we get it first. All right, so here we have our meal. We've got a maki roll, a friendship, fries, a freedom, naturally, a burger with kimchi, for that North Korean flavor. Uh, we don't know if the kimchi comes from North Korea, but I hear that that extra flavor of oppression is cannot be beat. And iced tea here, which I'm gonna try right now, guys. Mm, nice. People love baby burgers. They love it. And I think it's, also, it's I mean, because of the summit, people want to, to be part of it one way or the other and to have that mix of kimchi with burger, I think that has a great appeal. I love burgers. It's really nice. Mm, kimchi is good. Burger is delish. Good level of spice. I like, like that there's a little bit of heat on this. And I like that the bun is toasted, very important. Mm, lovely. These are freedom fries. Each one represents a vote from the people. <laughs> We're at Hopheads in Singapore where they have made a cocktail in honor of the summit. Uh, it's called the Bromance and it involves everything from tequila to soju to beer to Diet Coke, which sounds terrifying, but I'm gonna make one and then I'm gonna try one. This is like Korean, kind of sweet, yeah, right? Yeah, Korean. Okay, cool. And peace. That's what it's all about, peace and getting wasted. Okay. Uh, all right, guys, let's see how we do this. And you go here. Do this one for world peace, y'all. One, two, three. Peace. <laughs> Only one fell. Ever. <laughs> this bromance is it's strong. It's strong but sweet. <laughs> We're at Lucha Loco, where they're taking tacos and making them tools for diplomacy. Donald Trump is currently trying to build a wall, though, against Mexico. How do you think he would feel about tacos on his name? Uh, I think secretly he loves tacos. Um, but, you know, obviously, uh, you know, being a Mexican restaurant, we love to poke fun as well. And this is why we're having our own local taco summit to show, you know, that, hey, you know, tacos are very tasty, you know. Tacos are delicious. Does El Gringo have mayonnaise? I feel like El Gr like Gringos love mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, no, we have a special burger sauce though, which uh, I think uh, Trump himself will love. Yes. Big Mac inspired. Uh, inspired. Yeah, inspired. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we, uh, well, we, it's, it's our own lucha special sauce, but yeah, you could say there's uh, there's some inspiration there's from. A bit of Big Mac in all of us. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. All right, let's try it. Yeah, please. Okay? Go ahead. Is that a cheeseburger? Mm. <laughs> taco. Really cheeseburger taco. Yeah. <laughs> On the Trump Kim Summit food tour, Lucha Logos Tacos get two very, very enthusiastic, messy thumbs up. Come here, guys. It's absolutely delicious. So, uh, Donald, uh, mm, I was wondering if maybe you could uh, 
I have a few DVD box sets of The Apprentice back at the hotel. I'd really like it if you could sign them. Of course, Kim. Of course. The Apprentice was the best show ever. Best TV ever. It'd be my, be my delight to sign for you. Woo. You're fired. <laughs>